totally weak. We can't possibly fight. However, how would you gentlemen like free passes to Waterloo's home of excellent water slides? There ain't no better time for an all-out brawl than when you're in one of the bars of the Old West. So start flipping blackjack tables and smashing chairs over people's heads. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Western saloon fights. That's a name to reckon with. For this list, we're choosing the most memorable, big screen scenes involving a Western saloon and some fighting words and moves. Warning, there may be a few climactic battles thrown in here, so spoiler alert. Number 10, The Spoilers. There are a few rules in the Old West, apparently, and number one is never pull a gun on an unarmed man. I haven't got a gun on me, Glenister. No? Then we'll do it the hard way. If you've never heard that rule, well, it's because it's fake. Made up rule number two, don't get involved. Come on! Let's break it out! Oh yeah, don't. Get him fight it out. In this Western drama, John Wayne proves that chivalry is still alive and well, as he proceeds to beat a rich old commissioner half to death with his bare hands, while everyone else watches the commotion in nervousness and excitement. Number 9, Dodge City. In this scene from the American Western, saloon dancers are singing a jaunty tune and everyone's chanting along. Yes, for once in the Old West, there's a moment of peace. What better time to start a barroom brawl? Everyone and their mothers jump in to get a piece of the action here. It's hard to believe that people here know who they're fighting, so we can just assume that everyone's knocking each other's teeth out just for the sheer hell of it. Number 8. Ride Beyond Vengeance. Jonas and Coates are two rough-and-tumble gunslingers from this 60s western flick who fight their way into a saloon and onto this list. What follows is a three-minute scene in which nothing is safe. Tables are used as giant fly swatters to great comedic effect. Women are turned into human shields and deer antlers become deadly weapons. Eventually, everything in the saloon is shattered to bits, and both fighters realize they have guns. But Jonas makes short work of his opponent. Number seven, Cowboys and Aliens. Whiskey. There aren't a whole lot of things this movie got right about cowboys or aliens, but this scene proves that Jon Favreau's reputation as an action director is still well-deserved. Daniel Craig doesn't want no trouble in this saloon, but the sheriff and his posse don't kick too kindly to strangers that are also possibly from another planet. The result is Craig going Bond on everyone and showing us once again that Brits can be badasses too. Oh. Number six, The Long Riders. I'm glad I caught you in a good mood. This old gem is worth dusting off if you're in the mood for some classic Western goodness. In it, the whiskey-voiced charmer we know as David Carradine takes on Raiden from the Mortal Kombat sequel in a knife-wielding, scarf-chewing, one-on-one battle. It still takes place in a saloon, so it still counts.
They're fighting over a woman that neither particularly wants, but that's just the Old West for you. Life or death brawls for no good reason. Number 5. Shanghai Noon There's just something about Jackie Chan that makes you want to gather a posse and take him on. Just to see if you can, of course. You bounce back fast, Kip Wasabi. He can't go anywhere without sparking crazy, stunt-driven action sequences, and that includes the Old West. Nice try, Mr. Chan. But we're not going to believe that you're just going to sit there peacefully and have a nice drink until you've taken on everyone in this bar at the same time and proven your martial arts mastery once again. Whoa! Lo and behold, that's exactly what he does. Number four, for a few dollars more. Didn't hear what the bet was. Your life. When the man with no name is out to get you, there really isn't much to do but sit back, relax, and hope it looks super cool when he blows your head off. In this scene from the second installment of the Dollars Trilogy, Clint Eastwood brutally beats a guy named Red all over the saloon, using only his left hand to do it. Alive or dead, it's your choice. When Red's buddies show up, led by a half-shaven man, Eastwood has to resort to some fancy pistol work to take everyone out. Number three, Shane. Did you think you was gonna come in here and drink with the men? Set him up, bartender. Two whiskeys. It's a regular good old-fashioned bar brawl when Shane comes to town. No good gunfighter Chris Calloway doesn't like the cut of Shane's jib and tells him so. Let me have him. Let him go. Let me have him. Go get him, Chris. What follows is a staple of classic westerns, when Shane comes back to give Calloway and the rest of his men the old one-two. He's a bit outnumbered though, so Shane's buddy jumps into the fray and a no-holds-barred face-punching, chair-smashing scene ensues. Number two, Unforgiven. Clint Eastwood has made a rich and lengthy career out of playing deadly old western bounty hunters. Just hold it right there. Hold it! But in Unforgiven, he shows us the wrongs of today's gun-obsessed entertainment industry. That is, until the very end, when he gets tired of not having shot anyone for a while and masterfully guns down an entire saloon full of bad guys. Which, of course, just goes to show you that we can't have anything nice when Eastwood doesn't get his way. Any man don't want to get killed, better clear on out the back. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few Honorable mentions. Nobody calls me Mad Dog. Especially not some dooted up egg sucking gutter trash. Huh? 
We got our own thing going on over here. Yeah, nobody needs to get in on this. We're both getting hurt pretty badly. Number one, Desperado. And then he lets it rip. And he he's pissing all over the place, man. He's pissing on the bar. He's pissing on the stool. Okay, okay, okay. So a man walks into a bar. The joke stops there because Antonio Banderas as El Mariachi proceeds to murder the entire clientele with about as much restraint as we'd expect from a Robert Rodriguez film. Not even Quentin Tarantino is spared when the guns start blazing. Look, I swear, I, I have no idea what the hell's going on here! While El Mariachi doesn't have infinite amounts of ammo at his disposal, he does have a guitar case filled to the brim with all kinds of gun nut goodness. He doesn't only have style, he comes prepared. You gotta love it. To the strange face of love. Do you agree with our list? Bravo. What's your favorite Western saloon fight? For more bottle smashing top tens published every day. Be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. That's where it hurts, like right there, like right underneath my eye. Yeah, there's a little red spot. Ow, ow, careful, it's tender.